Hello, today we are going to go through the musculoskeletal system exam. I'm Carolyn Merriman. Welcome back to this series of um, health assessment examinations. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started um, with a live client. Hello. Um, good morning. I'm Carolyn Merriman. I'm your nurse today. Can you please tell me your full name? Yes, I'm Lita Jones. Um, what would you like me to call you? Lita. Okay, Miss Lita. Um, I will be doing a musculoskeletal exam today. And first, let me check your armband, if you don't mind. Okay, it says Lita Jones. Can you tell me your birth date as well? It is 1169. Okay, so today what we're going to do is I'm just going to check your muscle strength and your range of motion. Okay. And I'm going to start basically at the top and and at the top in your jaw and go all the way down through your your muscles and your muscle strength. Do you have any questions before we start? No. I will um, start with just your muscles in your jaw. Okay. So can you tighten your jaw, please? Your jaw feels very um, firm and strong, your muscles in your jaw on both sides. Do you clench your teeth? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you open and close? Okay, so what I'm doing here is, do it again please. Okay, it's just palpating the um, temporal mandibular TMJ joint is basically what it's called. Okay, that's very good. Now what I'd like to do is also um, have you bring your chin down against my hand. Okay, good. Now I want you to push your hand, your face against my hand and the other way, please. Awesome. Now um, what I want to do is have you do a little bit of exercises on your neck. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell you and I'll show you also. This is to test the range of motion in your cervical spine. All right, so can you put your chin on your chest? Excellent. Come back to the neutral position. Can you go backwards with it? All right, excellent. Now can you put your face towards side to side like that? Okay, the other side please. Wonderful. Now can you put your ear to your shoulder? Okay, and the other side. Does that feel like a good stretch? Mm -hmm. All right, now what I'd like to do is check your shoulders. And in order to do a good exam for musculoskeletal, we always um, make sure that the joints don't feel swollen or any deformity. So I'm also going to just look. No deformities or swelling. Um, and now what I'd like you to do, let me go look on this side too. Are there any tenderness there? Mm -mm. Okay. And if you did see any swelling or um, any deformities, you might want to check with your hands for warmth because maybe the uh, joint would be inflamed. But I don't see any problems with yours. So now we're going to do some exercises or range of motion of your shoulders. Shoulders are awesome because they can go different directions. So can you put your arms straight out? Okay. And can you go backwards with them? Excellent. Now, um, would you please put them behind your neck? That's called external rotation. Now, can you put them behind your back? That's internal rotation. Wonderful. Now, can you put them all the way over your head and touch your hands? Great. All right, thank you so much. Now, what I'd like to do is look at your arms. And your arms have elbows and, and wrists and fingers. So I'm going to just examine. Again, I'm looking for swelling or deformities. I'm going to touch. I don't feel any. And if I did, of course, I could check for warmth. But your, your elbows, both sides, look perfectly fine. And so what can arms do? Well, we've got, this is kind of an extension right now. It's straight out, but we can also flex, okay, and bring it back out. All right, now this is called supination. And now if you turn it over, that's called pronation. Perfect. All right, and I'm going to check the strength in just a minute, but let me look at your wrists now. Your wrists don't look swollen or deformed in any way. There's no temperature gradient there. All right, so can you, um, that's called extension of the wrist. Can you put them down? Okay, that's flexion. Put them back in the same position. Now go up. That's dorsiflexion. Excellent. Now let's look at your fingers. I don't see any deformities or swelling of your fingers. All right, so now let's check your range of motion in your fingers. That is um, extension. Can you curl them? Excellent. Bring them back out. Okay, and then go out. That's kind of like an, um, uh, an abduction. Now bring them back together, and that's adduction. All right, there's also something you can do with your wrists where you can turn them in a little bit. Good. And then out. All right. 
Same way with this one, in, inversion, and then eversion. Okay, so that is um, the range of motion of your, um, arm, your elbows, your wrists, and your fingers. What I'd like to do now is check your strength of your upper arms, okay? So there's a couple ways that we can do it. Um, I, if you want to hold your arms out, I'm going to try to push down, don't let me. Okay, now you push down, and I'm going to, oh, very strong. So I would grade that five plus, which means full range of motion and strength. Now what I would also like to do is, and this is part of your final head to toe performance exam, I want you to squeeze my fingers as hard as you can. Excellent, and again, the strength is five plus. Um, you can also have the person push up on, your hand, on their hands and then down. You can have them spread their fingers. Now don't let me close them, don't let me close them, so you can see the strength of individual parts as well. Thank you so much. All right, now what I'd like to do is go ahead down to your legs and see how strong they are, and I'm looking at your knees. I don't see any deformities or any swelling in your knees. I'm gonna palpate them. Sometimes you can palpate a little swelling, which is also known as effusion. Um, I don't feel any temperature gradients there. Um, so to test your knees, we'll, we'll need to stand up, but I just I can go ahead and check. Can you uh, push up on my hands? Excellent. And then you push down. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna look now at your ankles. Again, no deformities or effusion, which means swelling. And I'm looking at your feet as well. All right. Same thing with your toes. I don't see anything problems with that. All right, so um, go ahead and push against my hands for strength. Push forward, excellent. Now, can you go ahead with range of motion with your, your ankles, can you push them down? Excellent. And um, that's the plantar flexion. Can you go up? Excellent. Now I'm gonna have you push against my hands with like a pedal. That is part of your head to toe performance. So the two things that are part of the head to toe performance in musculoskeletal will be that you'll do finger um, grips for muscle strength on the upper extremities and you'll do the plantar flexion, um, which is like the gas pedal on the lower extremities. All right, your, your ankles look like they had range of motion. You can also go in with your, with your ankles, excellent, and go out. Those are two other things that you can do. Now for your knees, this, the knee joint, this is extension, and also you can bend it backwards for flexion. Can you stand up and show us that? Okay, so you've got the, the knee is extended right now. Can you bring it up? That's flexion, excellent, and bring it back down. All right, now you also would wanna check the hip joints, but I'm not going to expose this client, and so I would make sure that there's no tenderness on the hips. This exam I did on, I tried to do on both sides, but remember that you are going to check both sides of the body. So when I demonstrated the hip exam, I only did it on the left side, but of course you would do it on the right side and put it into a, a sequence. Um, also make sure that the patient most likely would be laying in bed or supine at that time. Now go backwards. Okay, that's hyperextension. And now what we're going to do is go out. That is called abduction away from the body and then bring it back in and across the body. That's adduction. Um, excellent. Now usually we can also do internal rotation is where she turns her toe in and external rotation she turns her toe out. Um, I would recommend, thank you, I would recommend that you do those procedures with a client laying down but again uh, for the sake of privacy I'm not going to have her do that today. Now the other part of the exam that's important is the cervical spine. So I'm gonna just check and make sure your cervical spine is straight and I will keep you covered. Can you stand up please? Okay. So to do the cervical spine, we're just going to look to make sure I'm looking like we did when we did the thorax exam to make sure that there's no in, um, deformities, no kyphosis or scoliosis or lordosis. So I look and I see that her spine is straight and what I'm gonna do is also palpate it for tenderness. Do you have any tenderness along your spine? No. Okay. All right, and so then I would also check to make sure that she doesn't have any of those deformities by checking for scoliosis. Are you relaxed? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I would check under her scapula, check her hips, and then have her bend over and look to see that she doesn't have any scoliosis. And look across. I don't see any S-curve at this time. You may stand up. Um, pretty much 
that gives us a full um, musculoskeletal exam. Do you have any questions? No. All right, Lita, thank you so much for the for your time, and it looks like everything was in within normal limits without deformities or any kind of tenderness or any kind of uh, problems. This concludes the musculoskeletal exam. Thank you very much.